Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a chit chat video. I'm not doing my makeup, I'm not doing anything else besides telling you guys what's been going on and what I found out. As you guys know, a couple days ago I posted a video concerning the Kat Von D versus Makeup Revolution Cosmetics scandal. I've been doing research, looking into different brands that have been duped by this brand as well. And I have a lot to say, so let's just get into it. So I do want to give credit where credit is due. There was actually one comment posted on my first video about this subject in which someone talked about how Charlotte Tilbury was supposedly, allegedly, doing Makeup Revolution cosmetics because MUR released a lipstick that looked almost exactly like Charlotte Tilbury's. So after I saw that comment, I actually commented back to this person and said, wow, I'm gonna have to research that because that was really interesting to me. I've got two full sheets of information about everything that I'm gonna be reading off of. I am somebody who's very scatterbrained. I'm not really good at remembering what I wanna say. And then when I'm done filming and getting ready to edit for the day, I always remember something I wanted to say, but forgot to say in the video. So I always write down my thoughts. It definitely helps when it comes to filming. That way I know I got everything out that I wanted to say and you guys have everything as far as the information. Just in case you guys didn't see my first video about this subject, I don't want you guys to feel like you're left behind because I'm not going to go too far into what I said in that first video, so I'll link it down below for you guys in the description box. The general consensus about MUR is the fact that they are a dupe brand. They create dupes for pretty much everybody. I actually have an entire list right here of all the brands that have dupes in their cosmetic line. Kat Von D obviously had to top the list because they're the most recent. Bobbi Brown, Too Faced, Ben Nye, Laura Mercier, Urban Decay, and the list goes on. I'll have pictures of all of the products themselves and their dupes in the MUR line right now. <laughs> thing I want to do, I guess, is to debunk the rumor that has been going around, supposedly, that Charlotte Tilbury is suing MUR for their copying of their lipsticks. I searched high and low, searched every forum, searched everywhere for any results that verified that claim, and I could find nothing. There is nothing anywhere saying that Charlotte Tilbury is definitely suing a makeup revolution. So I don't know where that came from. I don't know where it stemmed from. Like I said, I could find no official statements from the brand itself stating anything about suing anybody for anything. And on that same note, Kat has said in her video that she is not going to pursue any legal action against MUR either. After watching Kat's video about the palette and what had happened, I felt like I was left kind of bewildered because she really didn't make clear what exactly that it was that made her so mad about this palette being released. Was it the color scheme that was used? Was it the layout? Was it the names? Like we have no idea. She didn't really put specifics on what made her so upset. She mentions that she put so much work and time and love into all of her products. And I completely get that from an artist's perspective. I understand why that would be so upsetting to see your stuff copied or duped in this case and sold for a cheaper price. I understand that to an extent. However, hypothetically speaking, if she were to go ahead and press charges and seek legal action, I don't really think she'd have a leg to stand on because number one, if she was upset about the color scheme that was used, colors are not intellectual property. No one can own any colors. Unless, of course, you create a color that no one in the entire universe has ever seen before, there's no way any one brand or any one person can own a color. So let's just say if it was, in fact, the color scheme that was used, then she would not only need to go after MUR, but pretty much every other brand in the cosmetic industry. Because every single brand has a color that looks exactly like the color she used in her palettes. And like I brought up in my first video about this, if she really wants to get into legal action, and if this definitely is about dupes as far as color and shades and formulas, then Sugar Pill should definitely go after her ass and clock her ass because I'm fairly certain there are so many shades in Kat's line that you can find in Sugar Pill's line. And I'm fairly certain Sugar Pill was around way before Kat was, so who's copying who? 
So when it comes to dupes as a whole across all brands, legally, do any of these brands have a leg to stand on when other companies recreate their products and sell it for a cheaper price? However, when it comes to the name of the palette itself, there are so many brands across the entire spectrum of price ranges that have dupes for each other. For instance, Maybelline has the Nudes collection, Urban Decay has the Naked collection, obviously. Every brand has their own rendition of a certain product with similar names. Now going back to the layout of the palette and the shades and where they're placed. Yes, she very well could have come up with a sequence in which those shades are placed in the palette, but those shades do not belong to her brand or her. They are shades that literally, like I have said earlier, everybody uses in all their collections. If it was in fact the layout of the palette and the shades themselves and where they are placed, I kind of understand why she'd be mad about that. And to me, that was kind of shady on MUR's part. Because looking at all the other palettes that are dupes for higher end products, I did notice that there are a couple of shades that were omitted from the dupe palette. Some shades were moved to different spots in the palette. But in this case, they decided to put literally every single shade where she has it in her palette. So that was kind of sketchy. The only way any legal action would go in her favor would be if MUR were ballsy enough to try to recreate her exact artwork on the palette itself. Something that would have been downright fucking stupid of them to do because obviously that artwork does not belong to them. It is Kat's artwork. It's her personal artwork so they would get in deep shit for that. Overall, you do indeed get what you pay for, and this whole thing comes right back down to the consumers. I do have a statement here from MUR Cosmetics, so go ahead and read, but I will also place it at the end of the video so you can see everything in its succession. And I quote, Yes, we are king of dupes. When we do dupes, it's because we are a fast beauty brand. In the same way, Topshop, New Look, and Primark watch London Fashion Week and will have designer fashions in their stores in 12 weeks. We do the same making it affordable or accessible to all. The name Revolution came from wanting to bring some honesty to the market in some respects. We respect the consumer with retail that is amazing value rather than the market price. Many brands and products do not need to be so high and they can, in some cases, exploit the customer. Cosmopolitan got word of what had been going on and actually reached out to Makeup Revolution and actually asked for a statement from the company and I do have it right here. Once again, I will have all of these screenshotted and put into this video for you guys to read on your own. So it says here, and I quote, at Makeup Revolution, we passionately believe that amazing quality makeup should be available to all, not elitist or based on your ability to pay. We believe that every diversity, age, and background should be catered for with fast, trend-led, and quality beauty products. Our products are produced to the highest possible standard for an accessible and affordable price with no testing on animals. Revolution is recognized as a global leader in fast beauty and one of the fastest growing makeup brands in the world. We are based in UK and most fundamentally different, we listen to what our consumers want. We have a very happy customer base that is spread across the world. Dupes are a recognized and celebrated part of the fashion and beauty industry and consumers love them. High street fashion stores will soon be filled with inspiration from London Fashion Week for instance, and are constantly looking for more inspiration from the catwalk. We never knowingly infringe any design, copyright, or patent. <laughs> okay. They did reach out another time to try to get a response from them about Kat Von D's post about them, but have gotten nothing as of late. So I do have to agree with them that dupes are a very, very celebrated part of the beauty community because not everyone wants to pay $30 for an amazing highlighter. Nothing is wrong with having a product duped. It's about how you go about it, I think. Like I said in the beginning, I do feel like MUR was a little bit shady in the way that they really didn't try to make the palette look different at all from Cats. So to me, I just, I don't understand why she's so mad, but at the same time, I do get it because in some aspects, they really did try to rip her off, as she said. So as you can tell, I'm very conflicted about this. I'm not really sure where to stand. Dupes are very, very touchy across the beauty community here on YouTube because there have been some dupes that these bigger influencers will try to push in your face when they get the PR packages that I really just don't understand how it's considered a dupe. The best example I have of a dupe that was pushed for really no reason at all was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer when it first launched onto the scene. A lot of these bigger influencers were saying that it was an exact dupe for NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I can 
can say from experience because I have used both. You guys know I absolutely love the Maybelline Fit Me line as a whole. I think they're very, very good and it, honestly it just works well with my skin type. But like I said, I have tried both products and they are nothing alike at all. I don't understand why these influencers were saying it was an exact dupe for NARS's product when it was completely different. The only similarity I saw was literally the packaging, and I'm fairly certain that's the reason why they said it was a dupe, because of the packaging, which doesn't make sense whatsoever. Just because the packaging looks similar does not mean the product inside the two is exactly the same whatsoever. NARS, of course, is a very, very, very high-end beauty cosmetic line, and they use a lot better products in their products than obviously Maybelline does in theirs which is why they sell it at two different price tags, two very different price tags. Once again, you get what you pay for. In some cases, I can say, in this case especially, there are some situations where the drugstore is better than the higher end product and that is definitely the case in this situation, but when it comes down to it, you're paying more because you're getting better quality products in the product that you spend more on. And honestly, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, but that's kind of the reason why I don't really like to follow the bigger influencers because they really don't have extensive knowledge about the products they're trying to push in your face. The extent of their knowledge goes as far as the information card they get in their PR packages about the products they're getting sent. That's just my opinion, that's just the way I think, but we're all free to have different opinions about people. But once again, this brings us full circle to the issue with packaging similarities between two different brands, which I feel is the biggest issue that Kat is having with MUR at the moment. What we are seeing right now is a case of trademark or trade dress infringement, and believe it or not, there is actually an active case right now concerning head and shoulders against the in-store brands that are trying to use the same bottle shape and same like font and same packaging that they use on their bottles. I will post the link to that whole situation down below as well so you can read up on it, but that is an excellent example of a situation like this being taken to a legal level. So like I said, it's all up to what you guys as the consumers think and what you would rather spend your money on. Do I think MUR was wrong for doing this palette? To an extent, yes, because like I said, they were very, very ballsy in the fact that they did not try to conceal the fact that they were trying to dupe Kat's product. They made it very, very obvious, which I think is very, very shady of them, but when it comes down to it, I mean, it comes down down to what you guys think and what we think as the consumers because we are the ones who are keeping these brands in business. I guess for my closing thought, I'm going to go ahead and just say that I honestly don't think that MUR is necessarily in the wrong for doing what they've done. In some aspects, yes, they were very, very shady at what they were doing, especially when it came down to the name of their palette and the layout of it. They could have been a lot more subtle about it like they have been in the past few dupes they've created. They could have misplaced a few shadows or omitted a couple shadows just to make sure it wasn't exactly like cats, but they didn't do that, and I'm pretty sure that's the only reason they're getting such a bad rep right now is because it looks so close to her palette. MUR is not the first cosmetic company to do what they've done, and they are not going to be the last by any means. There are new brands popping up everywhere, on Instagram, on Twitter, everywhere, and I'm fairly certain that they're all following trends that one of the bigger brands have started. One of the biggest tips people on YouTube give you when you first want to start a channel is to find out what's trending and go along with that in your video and make your videos about that. That's literally exactly what's happening with what's going on with Kat Von D and MUR. You are right now. Like I said in my first video, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Do I think they should have been a little bit less shady? Absolutely. But do I also think that she reacted in a completely unprofessional way? 100%. Like I said, she could have very easily just emailed them personally and reached out to them personally. She cannot be mad at them over the shades because she doesn't own the shades and not original to her company. She really can't be mad at them for the layout because honestly, the layout itself has been used by companies, other companies, for years. She's not the first one to have that layout. So overall, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Kat's in the wrong? Do you think they're in the wrong? Do you prefer dupes or do you like the originals? Answer all those questions down below. Let's have a conversation and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.